Hey, it's Rob, the Ignorant Entrepreneur. Now, the first fully AI-generated drug enters clinical trials in human patients. Here we go, folks. Yes, indeed. In Silico Medicine, a Hong Kong-based biotech startup with more than $400 million in funding created the drug INS018-055. As a treatment for idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, a chronic disease that causes scarring in the lungs. The condition, which has increased in prevalence in recent decades, currently affects 100,000 people in the U.S., and it can lead to death within two to five years if untreated, according to the National Institutes of Health. I'm going to butcher this name, but Alex Zavarankov, founder and CEO of Insilico Medicine, told CNBC that it is the first fully generative AI drug to reach human clinical trials and specifically phase two trials with patients. Alex said that while there are other AI designed drugs and trials, theirs is the first drug with both a novel AI discovered target and a novel AI generated design. And to piggyback off this, applying natural language processing to data mining is not new, but pharmaceutical companies, including the bigger players, are now making it a key part of their process, hoping it can help them find connections that humans might have missed. Jim Weatherall, vice president of data science and AI at AstraZeneca, says that getting AI to crawl through lots of biomedical data has helped him and his team find a few drug targets they would not otherwise have considered. But picking a target is just the start. The bigger challenge is designing a drug molecule that will do something with it. And this is where most innovation is happening. Generative Biomedics, a startup in Cambridge, Massachusetts, founded by flagship Pioneering, is actually using the same kind of generative AI behind text to image softwares like DALI 2. Instead of manipulating pixels, however, Generate Software works with random strains of amino acids and finds ways to twist them up into protein structures with specific properties. Since the functions of a protein are dictated by its 3D folding, this, in effect, makes it possible to order up a protein capable of doing a particular job. Back to in silico. Mind you, the discovery process for the new drug began in 2020 with hopes to create a moonshot medicine to overcome challenges with current treatments for the condition, which mostly focus on slowing progression and can cause uncomfortable side effects. Alex also added that in silico has chosen to focus on IPF in part because of the condition's implications in aging. But the company has two other drugs partially generated by AI in the clinical stage. One is a COVID-19 drug in phase one clinical trials, and the other is a cancer drug, specifically a USP1 inhibitor for the treatment of solid tumors. That recently received FDA approval to initiate clinical trials. When this company was launched, they were focused on algorithms developing the technology that could discover and design new molecules, Alex said. It was actually quoted as saying, I never imagined in those early days that I would be taking my own AI drugs into clinical trials with patients, but we realized that in order to validate our AI platform, we needed to not only design a new drug for a new target, but bring it into clinical trials to prove that our technology worked, end quote. The IPF drug's current study is a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trial taking place over 12 weeks in China, and Insilico has plans to expand the testing population to 60 subjects at 40 sites in the U.S. and China. If the current Phase 2 study is successful, it will go on to another study with a larger cohort and then potentially reach Phase 3 studies with hundreds of participants. They are expecting to have results from the current Phase 2 trial next year. And Alex adds that it's going to be difficult to predict the exact timing for future phases, especially since the disease is relatively rare and patients must fulfill specific criteria. But he is optimistic that this drug will be ready for the market and reach patients who may benefit from it in the next few years. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. We got AI entering the medical design process. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been the Ignorant Entrepreneur. I'm out.